Hello everybody, this is a video guide on how to make my cube dioramas. If you haven't got any of my templates yet and you would like to give them a go, uh, please check out the link in the description. Okay, so first off, let's start with what you need. Uh, of course, you need some scissors, okay? I recommend scissors for anything Super Nintendo or above, or like older, I should say. And uh, you will need a cutout for uh, NES games, okay? NES or Famicom games, because you have to cut out the pixels. So I really recommend getting a cutout. You will need a ruler. The reason why you need the ruler is for scoring. For nice, neat folds, you will need to score before you fold. So we use the ruler for that and the back of the uh, cutter, okay? If you don't want to use the cutter, you could use something blunt like a paper clip or something like that. Not really uh, necessary, but I really recommend getting some tweezers. I've got the needle nose ones. They're really good for the small pieces. So yeah, um, but yeah, you don't really have to use them. Of course, we need super glue. So uh, I really recommend that you get some quick drying super glue. Like this dries really quickly um, in a few seconds. I did link my one, but I live in Japan. So I linked something else. I linked a Gorilla Glue that uh, one of my customers recommended. So, um, but yeah, if you really want this, uh, I think you have to get it from Japan, maybe. But uh, yeah, for super glue, I really recommend a gel type. You can get by with the super glue, but I also really recommend getting some of this um, tape glue. Uh, so it's kind of, it's a film and it's double-sided and it's kind of works as a glue. Kind of like a double-sided tape, but uh, it's, it's much better. And uh, this one's good for doing the tabs of the, uh, of the cube, the, the uh, diorama, they have tabs. And you can also use it to uh, tape the back to the background. Uh, I'll get more into that later. Okay, so the first step is to print out the template on your printer. I just use a bubble jet printer. I'm sure you could use a laser printer as well. And if you don't have a printer, well, I guess you can just ask a store to do it for you. Um, I recommend A4 Falter paper. You can also use uh, like regular matte paper, but um, you can't use regular thin paper. You have to have something with thickness. So I recommend something over at least 170 GSM, probably over 200 for the safe side. Um, photo paper produces much crisper images and yeah, all my templates are in high definition. So yeah, use photo paper to take advantage of it. So uh, for the cubes, uh, please use my link. Uh, it's a link on Amazon. You get four cubes. It's the best value. And please print out the template at 94% size. That's really important. Um, maybe sometimes print size can vary between the printers. So if this is your first time making my cubes, it's always a good idea to cut out and assemble the base first, just to make sure it fits in your cube before cutting out all the other pieces. If your PDF reader isn't letting you resize, uh, please download the Adobe Acrobat reader. Step two, cut out the base and the pieces. Scissors are fine for Super Nintendo games and older games, but for the uh, NES games, I recommend using a craft cutter because they it's better for defining the pixels. Step three, before folding, we need to score the base. So please turn over your template and score on the reverse side. The places to score are pretty obvious, but the one place that's a bit hard to know is the is the line between the background and the back. So what I do is I hold the template up into the light. I mark, you can see the line, so you can use a marker or a pen and then yeah, do it that way. Also with the other lines, if you're not exactly sure, you can also do it for the other lines as well. Step four, turn the template back over to face up and now we have to fold where you score. Step five, now we have to glue it together. Glue the background to the back and the four tabs. I recommend the tape glue. I think it's really good, but you can also just use your super glue. When you're gluing the background to the back, make sure you try and line it up really well because if you don't line it up perfectly, uh, you will start seeing white edges. It's not uh, the end of the world. You can cut a, a, like a thin strip off the edge, but when you do that, also make sure you do it straight. Step six, glue the pieces on the base. 
please use a real quick drying super glue you want it done in seconds otherwise you'll be holding it there forever when you're attaching pieces to the background don't use super glue use a loop of tape and that'll make the character pop out giving you more of a 3d effect with some of my templates you're required to attach a piece to the uh, plastic of the cube so when you do this, I don't recommend using super glue because sometimes super glue can react with the plastic and make the plastic turn white. So what I do is I use a clear craft glue. One of my viewers told me the Gorilla Super Glue also doesn't affect the plastic, so you can use that as well. Step seven, place the diorama in the cube. You're done. Thank you for watching. I hope that was a useful tutorial. If you have any criticism or if you wanna add something, please write it down in the comments below.